Looking ahead to next NFL season and NBA season, maybe a few clues as to who might star. Checking in on number one overall pick, Kate Cunningham, and the Pistons facing the Thunder in Summer League. And Cunningham, very mixed reviews after this one. Here he hits the pull-up three, but he did struggle shooting. Just five of 17 from the floor. Five turnovers, gets the steal here, and dunks it at the other end. He finished with 12 points and six rebounds. Meanwhile, you know a team that could use some really, really good news, Matt, and that's the Houston Rockets. And they got it in the form of Jalen Green He's taking on good. the number three pick, Evan Mobley, and the Cavs. He's a very, very good player. He was a, a walking bucket yesterday. And one floater taking it to the hole, really hitting from everywhere, especially three-point range, really impressive. Four of nine from long distance. Nine of 18 overall. He shot 50%. Meanwhile, Mobley checking in on him as well, slamming it down. That's pretty. Very nice. Five-point game there. Not that really the, the score doesn't matter. Mostly the impression of these players. And boy, was it a good one of Green. And then Mobley catching the alley-oop. So again, beautiful basket inside. 12 points, five rebounds, three blocks. Uh, but this was all Green, really, the star of the day. Finding Kenyon Martin Jr. for the slam. So he finishes with 23 points and five rebounds. And the Rockets win 84 to 76, and they will take a bright spot anywhere they can get it. Our NBA draft analyst Mike Schmitz is with us. He's been there in Vegas, taking in all the action in Summer League, and I'm going to guess your answer here. Which player has stood out to you the most? Well, Hannah, it's Jalen Green. Clearly, you, you saw the highlights there. I mean, he looked like the number one pick yesterday, okay? He's a Ferrari on the court. He's fast, he's explosive, he's entertaining. And it was, wasn't just the production, but it was going right, the degree of making. I mean, that's what you see from NBA All-Stars. So when you talk about his role in Houston, he's gonna have a lot of freedom. I mean, they're searching for a star. And so I really think as the season goes on, he's probably going to lead all rookies in scoring and be up there for rookie of the year. 19 years old, skips college in favor of the G League. And uh, they have a big matchup tomorrow night against the Pistons and that first overall pick, Cade Cunningham. As I mentioned, it was a bit of a mixed bag. What did you see from him in his summer league debut? Good and bad. Yeah, early on, he looked good. I mean, he knocked down a catch-and-shoot three. You know, he stepped into a pull-up three. You saw a little bit of the playmaking, the vision, even though his teammates left a lot of assists on the board. But as the game went on, I thought, frankly, he really struggled. I mean, he didn't shoot it great from inside the arc. He struggled a little bit to create separation off the bounce. You know, he had, was forced to settle for a lot of tough off-balance floaters. You saw three from 10 inside the arc, two from seven beyond the arc, you know, more turnovers than assists. So I think he's going to be fine. I was saying all pre-draft, he's one of the most complete prospects I've ever evaluated. I'm going to stand by that. It's summer league, but I'm interested to see just how this fits with some of the pieces that they have, because you kind of want to hand him the ball and surround him with shooting and athletes. So I'm just kind of eager to see how they're going to make this work with some of the pieces that they have. Yeah, he didn't look bad on defense either, Mike. And and let's face it, one of the goals of Summer League yeah. is to understand as a pro what aspects of your game that still need work. Uh, Mike Schmitz, thanks for your insight from Vegas. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.